Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video, I guarantee you. But we have another clay block video out here today. If you haven't seen them yet and you're new, go check out the playlist. We have done this already with tons of different calibers and bang bangs. But today we are gonna do birdshot versus buckshot versus the slugs out of a 12 gauge. Check that out. This is just your cheapy bird shot. Then we got some double lot buck there, real nasty. Then we got this big old one and one eighth ounce hunk of lead there. All are gonna be shot at the same size piece of clay here. Uh, how far do you think we should go back? 20 yards maybe? 15 yards? 15, 20 yards, somewhere. But, and I'm gonna fling them all out of this baby and just because this is the uh, most ridiculous and coolest 12 gauge that I got. Give you the rundown on this one. This is a radical 12 gauge. What's the model? It's the number, I always forget. MKX-3. Big shout out to Gun Prime. That's where I got this one. Pretty, pretty sweet. And I did a video on this one actually called the cheapest or the best budget AR-12. And this is what was in that video. These are not expensive and the thing is awesome. But we're going to sling all these shells, add some clay on a slow motion, see what happens. Um, I think it's all going to be pretty nasty. Check it out. All right, now I'm back further than normal. You guys see there's a little shooting hut. We're over there. There's the uh, what to keep your eyeballs on. But yeah. This thing ought to be dead on. This is a pretty sweet little rig. Got that athlon on top. Well, yeah. First one's a bird shot. We'll see what bird shot does to clay at like 15 yards. Hopefully those babies don't bounce off and hit my camera that's down there. Oh, give her all the zooms, all the zooms. Well, it did something pretty nasty to it. Not about what I expected, but let's go check it out quick. Let's go check out what happened with the bird shot. Pretty weird, actually. I would not have predicted this. So, coming up here, if you had showed me this, I would think, man, that was the buck shot that did that. Some of it made some you know, finger sized holes through there. You can see some light through some of those holes, but man, that's pretty wicked. Pretty wicked. Let's look at the back of it. Here you can see about, I don't know, 20 some odd might've peeped through the back. Pretty wild, pretty wild. But, hey, next is that double out buck and I can guarantee you it's going to smack it even harder. Maybe even make that block fly completely off. But let's load up the buckshot, see what happens. All right, now here's the buckshot. And in case you didn't know it, everybody needs that kind of scope on their shotgun because it's awesome. And it helps you aim and not miss things. Here goes the buckshot. All the zooms. Ho! Oh! Hey now, that was something. That's that's no joke. If anybody said that a uh, buckshot is not nasty, they're wrong. Let's go check it out. And you know it's illegal to deer hunt with buckshot in Tennessee. Yeah, I don't understand it, but Tennessee says you can't hunt with buckshot. So huh. Tennessee, that's a messed up law in case anyone's watching. But let's go see what happened to this clay. As you probably saw in the slow motion, uh, 
it's gone. But um, there's two pieces of it. It was on this little pizza pan. There's a little piece of it, and there's a little piece of it, and the rest of it is just out there in the wilderness. So there's the one that was with the bird shot. It's all pretty much square and intact. That one, uh, we just made it disappear. So definitely tons more power dump on that buckshot, but let's go see what one big old piece of lead's gonna do to the clay block. I don't know, the buckshot might be more impressive, but we're about to find out. Uh, in case you didn't know, guys, I'm having a whole lot of fun for this video, and I absolutely, absolutely love this setup. Like I, I'm gonna tell you again, this one right here is called the Radical, but there's about 20 different uh, people that make this it's literally the same thing just about just branded differently and these are not expensive everybody needs an AR-12 go check them out but here goes the slug um, hopefully I hit it dead center and that slow-mo is going to be a, a crazy awesome show same distance 15 yards and I know slugs are nasty because I've taken too many deer to count with 12 gauge slugs they just drop so let's make that slug just drop here we go from the shoulder all the zooms. Wow. Uh, I think we disappeared that clay. Some of it just flew past me. Yeah, it comes come back here. But let's go check it out and see what happened. All right, let's go see if we can find any of that clay left. Uh, I can't wait to see this low motion footage. You guys already saw it, but it's gonna be crazy. I know it. So, here's how far back we were shooting them. Like I said, it might be about 20 yards. I should have started counting my steps, but Check it out. Pizza pan is gone. It's down here on the ground. And there's a, a smear of what was on there. Um, I think that's brand new. Some kind of flat pancake stuff. That was already there from the buckshot. So, um, it pretty much made it disappear into a bunch of tiny pieces everywhere, I have to assume. But, that little smear of it, and that little smear of it, is all that's left. Hey, that video turned out to be even more awesomer than I expected. Appreciate y'all watching big time. Let me know, do you hunt with any of those? What do you like the best? bird shot buck shot slug a lot of people ask me all the time what should i load in my home defense shotgun a hey, uh that's up to you buddy i don't know but now you know what all that does to some clay um it's all pretty nasty but appreciate y'all watching a big shout out to heavy metal y'all go check them out in the description and subscribe to their channel big thanks to gun prime that's where we got that awesome 12 gauge we'll see you on the next one Hoo -hoo.